All right, so in this video, we're going to do the other kind of mid-latitude problem, okay? So this is problem five from your worksheets. The, uh, so, um, so we're going from position one, 34, north, 34, 45 north, 140 east, and we're going to go on a, about 640 miles on a course of 047 to the northeast. And so the question is, what is the latitude and launch due to the point of arrival? Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to draw my diagram again, okay? So now for this diagram again, this little dot that I'm putting on the on the paper right there, that's my point of departure, okay? So that is latitude 1 and longitude 1, okay? And I'm going to go 640 miles to the northeast. So that's, you know, something like this, okay? Um, that will just say that that's D, 640, okay? And 047 is here, okay? Uh, 0, 4, 7, that's C, and it's also CN. Okay, great. And what that means is that I'm going to go north, you know, so in terms of my uh, change in latitude, L, and my uh, departure, uh, uh, which is east-west distance and or D low, it's going to be this, okay? So this leg of the triangle is at little L, change in latitude, and this is P. If I talk about miles, it's D low if I'm thinking about arc. Okay, great. And uh, so that means that uh, this is going to end up being L2. This down here is L1. Uh, this right here was longitude 1. That means that over here is going to end up being longitude 2. Now, you don't have to be so elaborate again with all your diagram. Really, all you really want is this relationship, okay? Uh, to go northeast, I go north and east, essentially, in terms of quadrantial notation. So now I'm ready to take that triangle and do my... Um, my uh, course from north is equal to, um, and again, when you do this, it's really your prefix is north or south, depending on if I went north or south. In this case, I went north, C. And then the, your suffix is east or west, depending on when east or west. So that is east, west. And I went north, so it's going to be north. And I went east, so it's east. So CN, it's going to be north, C, east in this case, okay? And I can convert back and forth between those. Now, they gave me CN. I'm going to want to convert that to C. Now, because it's in quadrant one, it's already 0, 4, 7, but I'd be using this formula to manipulate that. So now I want to go to Bowditch, okay? And again, uh, in Bowditch, um, the Mercator section starts on page 580, and then 581 is my first example. So I go to here to example one, and, uh, uh, you know, vessel steams. Oh, this looks like my problem. They gave me a distance in a course and a departure point. Yeah, that, that's exactly fine latitude and longitude point of arrival. So I look here, and here's Bowditch doing all that. Now, again, you can just ignore all that log stuff, all right? But Bowditch has the three formulas grouped up there, and then this is Bowditch doing the calculations. So first thing Bowditch is going to do is calculate little l, the, part, the change in latitude. That's d cosine c. So I'm going to want that. So I'm going to do 1 uh, l, the part change in latitude, equals d cosine c, okay? Okay, great. Second formula is going to be P equals D sine C. Okay, so P equals D sine C. I'm going to do that formula next. And then my last formula is D low equals P secant LM. Now, every time I see the secant, I'm going to make it 1 over cosine. Uh, so this is going to be D low equals P over cosine LM. That's how I'm actually going to write my formula over on the other sheet. So 3 is uh, D low equals P equals P over cosine LM, okay? All right, so first thing I want to do is I'm going to do uh, formula one is calculate my difference in latitude equals D cosine C. So uh, D is, for me, 640 times the cosine of 47. Okay, now, um, because this is in this quadrant, uh, this 47, I can use it directly because C and CN are the same in this quadrant. But if I was in a different quadrant, I'd have to convert this CN to C. But anyway, uh, so L cosine 47. So what's L? Let me turn this thing on here. Uh, 640 times the cosine of 47, and that gives me 436.5. Uh, for um, uh, point 0.5, we'll just say that 436.5. L equals 436.5, okay? Um, okay, great. So what am I going to do with that L? Uh, do I need it in any other formulas? No. 
But what I'm going to end up doing, so 436.5, L is 436.5. That's what this is, okay? That's in minutes of arc. Now, I know what my L1 is. My L1 is 34.45. I want my L2. So I'm going to have to apply this 436.5 minutes to this, okay? My 345. Well, this is in degrees minutes. This is in minutes only. So I think what I'm probably going to do now is I'm going to convert this from minutes to degrees minutes, and then I'm going to apply it to L1 to get L2. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to divide this thing by 60. Okay, so if I divide this by 60, my L turns into, divide this by 60, and I get is 720, uh, that becomes 7.27. Okay, great. So now that's going to be uh, 7 degrees, but I want to convert this 0.27 from degrees. I want to convert that to minutes. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Uh, so L equals 7 degrees. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, I don't want the 7, I just want the 0.27. So I'm going to strip the 7 off by subtracting it. Now I just have my decimal. Now I'm going to multiply that by 60. And that gives me 16.47, which I'm going to call 16.5. So my change in latitude in degrees and minutes is 16.5. Uh, 16 okay, great. So now I have my little L. I'm going to go ahead and calculate L2. Okay, so L1 plus little l is going to give me L2, all right? Because L1 plus little l is going to give me L2. So that was 34.45 north, and this is L is going to the north, by the way. This little l that's to the north, okay, because I'm going north. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be uh, 7, 16.5 uh, to the north. So uh, I'm going to add those two up now. Uh, and when I do that, 45 pl plus 45 gives me, that's uh, 61.5, and that should be 41, okay? Now, there's just a small little problem with that, that I don't want to go over 60, so I'm going to take 60 from here, add one over to there. So L2 is really 42.01.5 minutes. So L2 is 42.01.5 minutes. I've now answered the first question. Check, okay? So that was using this formula, okay? So I'm done with that now. Now I'm ready to go on to the second formula. I'm gonna to need to, in order to calculate my change in lo my, my longitude of arrival, I'm gonna to need to do two different formulas. So the first thing I need to do is calculate P. So here we go, formula two, P equals D sine C. So P is D, okay, that's 640 times the sine of 47, okay? Now, C equals uh, C equals CN, so I can stick that right in, but in another problem, I'd have to convert that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so let's do a little computation here. Uh, 640 times sine of 47, and that's going to give me P of, of 468.1. P equals 468.1 minutes, okay? So that's 468 minutes uh, of distance that I went to the east, okay? Great. So that formula is done, and I needed to do that formula so that now that I have P, I can enter P into this formula. So now I'm going to need P and cosine LM to do this next formula. So do I have cosine LM? Uh, no, I don't have LM, okay? But I ca So I have to calculate LM now. Okay, I have to calculate LM, all right? So, um, uh, but I know here's L2, here's L1. So if I just add those two and divide by two, I'll get LM. Okay, let's see what Bowditch does. Uh, oh, here's Bowditch doing that right there. Uh, Bowditch took L1 and Bowditch took half of little l. Okay, so about it, so the really the easiest thing to do is go L1 plus L2, and then you get you get an answer, okay, and then you divide that answer by two, and that's going to be your LM, okay, and then you have to futz around with your your degrees and your minutes and so on and so forth. That is a pretty standard way. You want to get the average of two things, you add them and divide by two, but that's not how Bowditch does it, okay. Um, so. Um, uh, but, uh, so Bowditch took L1 and applied half of the L that was calculated. But anyway, um, uh, L1, L2, 
okay? So L1 was 34.45, and L2 is 42.01.5. So if I add those up, that's 0.5, that's 6, 46, that's 6, 3, and 4 is 7. So it's 76, 46.5, okay? So uh, here we go, clear. Uh, 46.5 times 0.5 is 23.3, and 76 times 0.5 is 38. So LM is going to equal 38.23.3. All right, 38.23.3. Great, got it. All right, so I need that now for my next formula. And here's my next formula. Uh, I did that one. I did that one. D low equals P over cosine LM. So formula three. All right. Uh, D low equals P over cosine LM. Okay, so that's my cosine LM, but uh, I'm going to do the D low equals P. What was P? P was 468.1. Divided by the cosine. Now, look, I'm going to do a trig function. I can't go sticking minutes in there. So I got to convert this to degrees, uh, decimal degrees. So it's already 38. I'm going to divide this part by 60. So what is that? 23.3 uh, divided by 60 is, okay, 0.02. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add 38 to that. So that is uh, 38. Uh, 38.02. Oh, I screwed something up there. 23.3 divided by 60. Ah, 0.38. Okay. Okay. So I made a little math error there in my calculator. I don't know what the hell I did, but, uh, so that's going to be 38.4. Okay, and I could take this out a bunch of decimal places if I want, but I think, uh, you know, we'll just say that the LM is 38.4. So that's going to be 38.4. Technically, I should bring that out four decimal places. Okay, so D low equals 468.1 divided by cosine of 38.4. All right. And that is gives me a D low of 597.3. Okay, 597.3. Great. So, what am I going to do with that D low? I'm going to, I oh, so uh, I know what my latitude two is. I calculated that. I'm trying to calculate that. So, here was uh, longitude one, longitude two. My D low is 597.3 minutes of arc. But what I need to do now is convert that to degrees, minutes, and then add it to my uh, original longitude, okay? So that's the next step, is to convert this to degrees, minutes. So D low, I'm going to divide that by 60, okay? So divide by 60, and I get 9.95, okay? Nine point nine five degrees. Okay, so that's great. So my D low is nine degrees. Now I'm going to just get rid of the. I'm going to strip off the nine. So I just have my my uh, decimal. I'm going to multiply that by sixty, and that's fifty seven point three. Okay, great. So now, so five hundred ninety seven point three is also nine degrees fifty seven point three. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that to my longitude one. So longitude one was. 140, 0, 0 east, and my D low is going to be 957.3, and I'm also going east, so I should add that, so that's what I'm going to do, okay, and when I do a little math there, I get 57.3, 149, 57.3 east, that's D low, and the problem is solved, okay, so uh, that is that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to review how Bowditch did that, okay? Bowditch gives these three formulas, L equals D cosine C, P equals D sine C, D low equals P secant LM, I rewrote that. 
So uh, the D and C were given. And then Bowditch, this little L came by doing this formula. That's where that little L came from. And then Bowditch did this formula. That's where the P came from. And the P was in minutes, and that's in minutes. Then Bowditch calculated LM. Why? Because it was a term in this formula. And here is Bowditch calculating LM. That went up there, collecting that. And then Bowditch did this formula, and that's where this D low came in. Okay. So that, that formula being done gave, me, gave us this D low. Great. So that was done. Then what did Bowditch do? Bowditch took this L and applied it to L1. That's what's going on here. So it took this L428 and converted it to 708.6. Okay. And then added to L1. That's where that L2 came from. And then uh, this D low, uh, Bowditch converted it from minutes to degrees minutes, applied it to longitude one, and boom, that's what that did. And that's essentially what we did as well. All right.